Chid Su Win is bringing up her three-year-old daughter without her husband. Journalist Cho So Wu, one of two Reuters reporters imprisoned in Myanmar. Our daughters started to ask, why doesn't daddy love us? Why isn't he living with us? So I tell her, he loves you so much, that's why he's working at the prison. Cho So Wu's colleague, Wa Lon, is also in jail, and missed his wife giving birth to their child. So, I miss him. There are just a lot of things I miss about him, all the time and everywhere. Both reporters were arrested last December. They were sentenced in September to seven years for possessing secret state documents. The journalists were investigating reports of a massacre of Rohingya villages by security forces in northern Myanmar. Walon and Cho So U say they were set up by the police, who handed the documents to them moments before their arrest. It caused an international outcry. On the first anniversary of their jailing, colleagues are intensifying calls for their release. The fact that they remain in prison for a crime they did not commit calls into question Myanmar's commitment to democracy, freedom of expression and rule of law. Every day they continue to be behind bars is a missed opportunity for Myanmar to stand up for justice. Social media users have posted selfies with a thumbs up sign. That was the signature pose of the reporters each time they appeared in court with the hashtag Free Walon Cho so U. In Hong Kong, journalists held a solidarity rally. Human rights advocates say a free press is more important now than ever. The alternative to not speaking out, the alternative to not recognizing the value of press freedom is quite uh, is, is silence, and that is uh, quite. Uh, uh, at the moment untenable if we are to uh, uh, uphold press freedom. The reporters were arrested months after the military launched a crackdown in Rakhine state that caused around three quarters of a million Rohingya to seek safety in neighboring Bangladesh. A UN fact-finding mission concluded that the soldiers had acted with what was described as genocidal intent against the Rohingya committing mass killings and gang rape and the UN has called for the prosecution of army commanders. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.